Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss other forms of the hyperbola. Now we know that the standard equation of a hyperbola is x square over a square minus y square over b square is equal to 1. And also we know that eccentricity of this hyperbola is greater than 1. And here a and b are the constants. And this is a horizontal hyperbola. Now let us discuss other forms of hyperbola. First is the vertical hyperbola. Now the equation of the vertical hyperbola is y square over a square minus x square over b square is equal to 1. Now its transverse axis is along the y-axis and its conjugate axis is along the x-axis and the coordinates of its foci are 0 plus minus ae and the coordinates of the vertices are 0 plus minus a then the equations of the directrices are y is equal to plus minus a over e and the eccentricity which is greater than 1, that is E, is given by the formula that is square root of A square plus B square whole upon A square. Then length of the latest rectum is 2B square over A Then the length of the transverse axis is 2a and its equation is x is equal to 0 and the length of the conjugate axis is 2b and its equation is y is equal to 0. So these are all the properties of a vertical hyperbola. So this is a vertical hyperbola. Here f and f1 are the foci of the given hyperbola and the coordinates of the foci are 0 plus minus AE and A and A1 are the vertices of the given hyperbola whose coordinates are 0 A and 0 minus A and Z and Z dash are the directrices whose equations are y is equal to a upon e and y is equal to minus a upon e and a a1 is the transverse axis whose equation is x is equal to 0 and whose length is 2a and b b1 is the conjugate axis whose equation is y is equal to 0 and length is equal to 2b and L L1 and L dash L1 dash are the latest rectum of the given hyperbola whose length is 2b square upon a. So this is a vertical hyperbola whose equation is y square over a square minus x square over b square is equal to 
1. Now let us discuss the conjugate hyperbola. Now if x square over a square minus y square over b square is equal to 1, be the given hyperbola, then minus x square over a square plus y square over b square is equal to 1, that is, y square over b square minus x square over a square is equal to 1 or you can write x square over a square minus y square over b square is equal to minus 1 it's its conjugate hyperbola now here in the part 1, this is a hyperbola whose equation is x square over a square minus y square over b square is equal to 1 with a a1 as its transverse axis and b b1 as its conjugate axis. Now in the second part, we have the conjugate hyperbola of the given hyperbola and the equation of this hyperbola that is, the conjugate hyperbola of the given hyperbola is x square over a square minus y square over b square is equal to minus 1. And in this case, this is a hyperbola whose transverse and conjugate axis are respectively the conjugate and transverse axis of the given hyperbola. That is, in this case, a a1 is the conjugate axis and B B1 is the transverse axis of this hyperbola. So this is called the conjugate hyperbola of the given hyperbola. Now let us give this hyperbola as equation number 1 and its conjugate hyperbola as equation number 2. Now, if E is the eccentricity of the hyperbola, which is given by equation number 1, then B square is equal to A square into E square minus 1 the whole. And if E dash is the eccentricity, of the hyperbola that is the conjugate hyperbola which is given by equation number 2 then a square is equal to b square into e bar square minus 1 and 1 over e square plus 1 over e bar square is equal to 1. Now let us discuss the hyperbola for which the axes are parallel to the axis of coordinates. Now consider the given hyperbola whose axes are parallel to the coordinate axis and the center of the given hyperbola is O dash whose coordinates are H, K. Now the equation of the hyperbola with center H, K and axis parallel to the coordinate axis is given as x minus h whole square over a square minus y minus k whole square over b square is equal to 1. 
Now let this be equation A. Now the equation A can be reduced to the form lx squared minus my squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 where l and m are two different positive numbers. And from the equation of this form, we can easily conclude that it represents a hyperbola whose axes are parallel to the axis of coordinates. Now let us discuss how to find the general equation of the hyperbola. Now when the coordinates of focus, the equation of the corresponding directrix and the eccentricity E are given then the equation of the hyperbola can be easily found by using the definition that is the distance of any point P on the hyperbola from the focus is equal to the eccentricity E into the distance of the point P from the directrix. Now let the focus S be alpha beta and the equation of the corresponding directrix is Lx plus my plus n is equal to 0 and the eccentricity be and let p x y be any point on the hyperbola then by definition the distance of the point P from the focus that is the square root of x minus alpha whole square plus y minus beta whole square is equal to eccentricity into the distance of point P from the directrix that is modulus of Lx plus My plus M whole upon square root of L square plus M square which implies L square plus M square the whole into X minus alpha whole square plus Y minus beta whole square this whole is equal to E square into LX plus M y plus M whole square. Now this equation reduces to the form ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0, which is the general equation of the hyperbola. Now here you can notice that the equation of the hyperbola is a second degree equation. And the constants A, H, B are such that H square is greater than A, B. Now let us discuss one example. Now here we have to find the equation of the hyperbola whose focus is 3, 6 and equation of the corresponding directrix is 6x plus 3y minus 3 is equal to 0. And the eccentricity is root 6. Now let us start with its solution. Now let Pxy be any point on the hyperbola 
then by definition of hyperbola the distance of the point P from the focus that is square root of now the coordinates of focus are 3, 6 so the distance of the point P from the focus will be x minus 3 whole square that is square root of x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 6 whole square is equal to the centricity E that is root 6 into the distance of the point P from the directrix that is the corresponding directrix So it will be modulus of 6x plus 3y minus 3 all upon square root of 6 square plus 3 square. As the equation of directrix here is given as 6x plus 3y minus 3 is equal to 0. Now squaring both sides, this implies x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 6 whole square is equal to into 6x plus 3y minus 3 whole square whole upon root 6 square that is 36 plus 3 square that is 9 will be equal to root 45 and root 45 square is 45. Now this implies now here 3 into 2 is 6 and 3 into 15 is 45. Now on cross multiplying this will give 15 into now x minus 3 whole square is x square plus 9 minus 6x plus y minus 6 whole square is y square plus 36 minus 12y. The whole is equal to 2 into 36x square plus 9y square plus 9 plus 36xy minus 18y minus 36x the whole. Further, on solving this, we get 57x square plus 3y square plus 72xy plus 18x plus 144y minus 657 is equal to 0. Now, it is a second degree equation and here A is equal to 57 that is the coefficient of x square and B is equal to 3 that is the coefficient of y square. Therefore, AB is equal to 57 into 3 that is 171. Now here 2HXY is equal to 72XY. Therefore, H is equal to 36. Now, X square is equal to 1296. Therefore, we have H square, which is 1296, is greater than 171 which is AB. Now let this equation be noted by capital B. Hence the equation which is denoted by capital B is the equation of the hyperbola. So in this session we have learnt about other forms of hyperbola and general equation of the hyperbola. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.